Biggest Oil and Gas Discoveries in Africa 2022 Thanks to significant discoveries that are dignified to transform Africa into a major hydrocarbon herb, trillions of cubic feet of natural gas have been discovered between East Africa, the Mediterranean gas fields offshore North Africa, and the recent hydrocarbon boom in Southern Africa. The continent is quickly overtaking the rest of the world as the leader in oil and gas exploration. Representing the final frontier for oil and gas exploration, Africa continues to gain significant interest from regional and global energy players. Before we quickly go through these mind-blowing oil and gas discoveries, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification bell, and leave us a comment if you find this video interesting. Without wasting much of your time, let's go straight into these oil and gas discoveries from few years behind till 2022. 1. Senegal – Yakar Terenga Oil Discovery A BP Cosmos joint venture discovered 20 trillion cubic feet of natural gas in Yakar Teranga development, located in the Kayer Profond Deepwater Offshore Block in Senegal at 3,000 meters deep. Tierno Seidu Lee, Director of Hydrocarbons for the Ministry of Petroleum and Energy of the Nation, claims that Petrosen, the national oil firm of Senegal, Cosmos Energy, and BP anticipate making a final investment decision on the development of the Yakar Taranga offshore gas field before the end of 2022. 2024 is the projected year for the development's first production. An estimated 20 trillion cubic feet of natural gas will be produced as part of the Yakar Terenga field development, and this gas will be utilized to electrify the country of West Africa. The Greater Tortu Ameim offshore field development, which spans the maritime border between Senegal and Mauritania, will serve as a foundation for this new development. Seydou Lee said, The evaluation phase is already over. Our goal is to make a decision in 2022 and start manufacturing in 2024. The field might potentially become a future liquefied natural gas herb for the MSGBC, Mauritania, Senegal, the Gambia, Guinea-Bissau, Guinea-Conakry Basin, if the second phase, which will concentrate on the development of petrochemical facilities, focuses on LNG exports. The Yakar Saranga field is part of the Kaya Profond block, which is operated by BP with a 60% stake, Cosmos Energy with a 30% stake, and Petrosen with a 10% stake. Senegal and Mauritania are expected to begin generating their first LNG from the GTA offshore project development in late 2023 while Senegal anticipates producing its first oil from its Sangoma field in quarter 2 and quarter 3 of the same year. Both countries are dignified to become major producers of hydrocarbons. 2. Ivory Coast – Balen Oil Discovery In the CI-101 blocks Balen, located at a depth of 1,200 meters and 60 kilometers offshore, 2 billion barrels of light oil and 2.4 trillion cubic feet of gas were found in Eni's first ever Ivory Coast Prospect well. The first net zero emission project for the sector will begin production in Q4 2023. The Balain potential of the coast of Ivory Coast has been identified as the location of a significant hydrocarbon resource, according to Italian oil company Eni. 2 billion barrels of oil and between 1.8 and 2.4 trillion cubic feet of natural gas are potentially present in the block CI101 finding, which was made as part of a joint venture between Eni and Petrosi Holding. The company began exploratory drilling after 2D seismic mapping identified the sedimentary basin's potential. The well was drilled to a total depth of 3,445 meters in 30 days. The Saipem 10,000 drill ship drilled the well, which was the company's first in Ivory Coast, around 60 kilometers off the coast. Despite 20 years of offshore Ivory Coast exploration by Eni, no profitable finds have been found up to this point. 
Stakeholders are urging a hurried approach to field development as the business prepares to begin the review program to evaluate the upside potential of the area, which extends into block CI802, which is also run by ENI. ENI is making major strides in its pursuit of hydrocarbon prospects in Africa thanks to its participation interest in four additional blocks in the deep sea off the coast of Ivory Coast and its world-class assets in Libya, Nigeria, Mozambique, and Angola. 3. Ghana – Afina Discovery The Afina opportunity, found in the West Cape 3 Points Block 2 in November 2019, was disclosed by the Ghanaian company Springfield Energy in 2019. It has the potential to hold up to 650 billion barrels of petroleum and 0.7 trillion cubic feet of gas. Production is awaiting approval from the federal government. According to the most recent deep water discovery made by Ghanaian explorer, Springfield Group Offshore Ghana, the Afina One Well had around 1.5 billion barrels of proven oil and nearly 1 trillion cubic feet of proven gas, with a potential of over 3 billion barrels of oil. Springfield has made history by being the first independent African energy company to drill in deep water and find large amounts of hydrocarbons. This is fantastic news for Springfield, Ghana, and Africa. We are excited with the new discovery because it supports our ambition to become a significant African upstream player with a global focus, says Kevin Okere, CEO of Springfield. Okere also emphasized the contributions of the Ghanaian government, the state-owned Ghana National Petroleum Corporation, GNPC, and the multinational Tulo Oil in the making of this historic find. As Ghana's national oil firm, GNPC is proud of this accomplishment, which was achieved through an all ghanaian partnership. This accomplishment is consistent with GNPC's strategic goals of replenishing and expanding reserves, as well as boosting sustainability through the growth of our local content. The great prospectivity of Ghana's sedimentary basins and the ability of Ghanaians to perform when given the chance are both shown by this discovery, according to Dr. Kofi Kodwa Sarpong, Chief Executive Officer of GNPC. The majority of the 172,000 barrels of oil that Ghana presently produces each day comes from Tulo's Jubilee field. 4. Angola Oil Discovery and Development The deep water oil and gas potential known as Agogo is now being developed by the joint venture between ENI, Sonangol, and SSI-15. Agogo produces 1 billion barrels of light oil per day, at a rate of $20,000 per day, at a depth of 1,700 meters, 180 kilometers, off the coast of Angola. It was discovered in March 2019 and is located in Block 15-06. The Republic of Angola has grown into one of Southern Africa's top regional deep water players since the start-up of the Quito field by the supermajor Chevron in water depths of about 400 meters. Greater hydrocarbon deposits than those discovered on the nation's continental shelf can be found in waters 300 meters to 1,200 meters deep. In actuality, the offshore Kabinda oil field and the deep water areas of the lower Congo basin provide practically all of Angola's oil output, which was recorded at 1.16 million barrels per day as of March 2022. As Angola's Ministry of Mineral Resources, Petroleum and Gas spearhead efforts to reverse declining production levels. Angola's deep and ultra-deep offshore assets will be at the forefront of drilling campaigns, aimed at meeting phased production targets over the next decade. One of Angola's most promising deepwater prospects is the Total Energy's Kamea Golfino Deepwater Development in Block 20-11 and Block 21-09, respectively, estimated to hold 420 million barrels of oil equivalent. The Golfino field is one of seven deep water discoveries made in Block 20-11, 
and neighboring block 21 slash 9, of which Total Energies assumed operatorship in 2019. The French oil major also completed drilling works of an appraisal well that supported previous predictions of significant reservoirs located beneath the salt layer just last August. Total Energies has since issued a tender for a new 100,000 barrels per day floating production, storage, and offloading facility to service the Golfino field, with FID expected for 2023 and startup scheduled for 2027. With the aid of innovative deep sea technologies, fast track and phase development, and a series of discoveries made in Block 1506 in 2019 by the Italian multinational, the Agogo oil field was operational as soon as nine months after discovery. 5. Mauritania Oil Development Discovery Project BP Mauritania runs the Tor 2 Phase 2 in ultra deep water offshore Mauritania with permission from the Mauritanian government. The conventional gas development is currently in the feed stage, and the sea depth is roughly 9,023 feet. The project is anticipated to turn the nation into a significant gas producer, with related socio-economic advantages. A final investment decision must be made in order for the plan to move forward with commercial operations by 2026. There are cost projections totaling $500 million. The Mauritanian Hydrocarbons and Mining Heritage Company, a joint venture between BP, Cosmos Energy, and the National Oil and Mining Corporation of Mauritania, owns the field. The field, which is expected to produce an estimated 288.22 million barrels of oil equivalent, 19.07 million barrels of crude oil, and condensate, 279.71 billion cubic feet of natural gas, and 1,344.18 billion cubic feet of liquid natural gas reserves is situated in Block C8 and has a water depth of about 9,023 feet. With the development of this gas resource, Mauritania might become a significant global producer and exporter of gas. 6. Namibia sees billion barrels in offshore oil reserves. The offshore oil and gas discoveries made by Total Energies and Shell are likely in the billions of barrels, according to Namibia's Minister of Mines and Energy. Both companies stated earlier this year that they were conducting evaluations after making significant discoveries off the coast of Namibia. The companies did not disclose the quantities found. Although Dubus reports claimed that Total Energy's discovery was equivalent to more than a billion barrels of oil. Namibia, a member of OPEC and Angola's southern neighbor, may become the newest oil producer on the continent's Atlantic coast as a result of this discovery. At an oil conference in Dakar, Senegal, Tom Alwindo, the Namibian Minister for Mining and Energy, said, The corporations are cautious but have talked about commercial amounts in billions of barrels. In essence, they want to be confident of the precise quantities before investing in production, all windows stated. That's all we have for you today, guys. Thanks for watching this video to the end. Please do not forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. Also, do not forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up. We'll see you in our next video.